Peace and blessings is real. Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, uh, peace and blessings is real. Um, first and foremost, uh, before we get into this word, we must acknowledge our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, uh, for allowing this word to come out, man. And I hope you sincere uh, brothers and sisters are truly edified um, by tonight's word. And the name of tonight's word is going to be called for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All right. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Um, that's what we're going to talk about tonight. That's what the word is going to be about tonight. And um, it deals with sp uh, a spiritual warfare. Okay. Um, when you leave the world and then you give your life over to the Lord and you live according to this Bible, you're going to be subject to a lot of spiritual warfare. Because I'm going to tell you something, when you was in the world, you know, Satan was your best friend. But when you leave the world, Satan becomes your worst enemy. But then your best friend become the Lord. But see, a lot of people don't understand that or understand the prestigeness in that. You see, spiritual warfare comes with living by the Bible. Okay. And what I want to show you in tonight's word is that um, when you're a spiritual person, the the Bible tells you your weapons of warfare is not carnal. Okay. We're going to come to you in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5. In verse 4, it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. Okay, let's let's analyze this, brothers and sisters. Okay, what weapons is it talking about? In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, when it says, for the weapons of our warfare, what weapons is it talking about? Okay. Arms used in warfare is a good example. What you see on the screen, you see a gun on top of a Bible. Okay. Well, brothers and sisters, when you're a spiritual person, the Bible is your gun. That is your weapon. Okay. The weapons that we, the weapons that I'm talking about of our warfare, which is not carnal. You looking at it on the screen, the Bible, the gospel of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which is the truth. That's our gun. Okay. That's our gun. Okay. That's, that's, that's our weapon of warfare. The Bible, a.k.a. that's our gun. Metaphorically, the Bible is our gun, our sword, our weapon of choice. You see? It says, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. Okay? So, again, our weapons are not carnal. What is our weapon? The Bible, the gospel, the truth. Gospel, Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, the gun that you see is metaphorically the Bible. That's our weapon. In, 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 in the real world, in the world world, a gun would be considered carnal. And that's what people use for their warfare. But our warfare, we use the Bible. You dig? What is warfare? Warfare is spiritual conflict. Okay. Uh, warfare is uh, when you're dealing with spiritual dangers, trials, afflictions, roadblocks, roadblocks, debacles, you know, enemies that's trying to spiritually set you up for ruin. That's warfare. You, that's what you are subject to. And when that happens, man, the Bible, that's the gun you go get that Bible. That's the sword you go get that Bible, man. Carnal. What's carnal? Human nature governed by the flesh. Okay. Like spears, guns, swords, 
Okay, and it gets deeper. Uh, the carnal gets deeper all the way down to manipulation, deception, trickery. You see that? Our weapons are not that. Our weapons is that is that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Barakata, man. That gospel, man. That's that's your weapon. That's your loaded gun. Blast! Fire! That's what you pull out, man. When you encounter spiritual warfare, hey man, pull out that Bible, man. And I guarantee your enemy's gonna haul ass because they ain't ready for that. That's the biggest, baddest gun you can get, man. That Bible, man. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of what strongholds? What's examples of some of the strongholds that you're going to deal with? Pride, unbelief, um, the hardness and hatred of the heart against Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Uh, weak spiritual weaknesses, spiritual distractions, uh, sins being committed. Okay, those are the strongholds that need to be pulled down through Yahweh. You see? In verse 5 in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, it says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, bringing into captivity every thought to be obedient of Yahweh. Shai, man. So let's look at verse five, man. Casting down what? Imaginations, hostile reasonings, okay? Casting down the wrong thoughts and perceptions of, uh, opposite of the truth. Those are the casting down of imaginations. It says, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of your power. That's where you get that pride. That's where you get that from and, and the hardness of heart and all of that. You see, pride puffeth up, man. And it says, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of your house shot. So in other words, you're going to be, when it comes to captivity, you're going to be brought under control. Your mind's going to be captivated to the obedience, okay, of your house shot. You dig? So when you use this Bible, as your weapon of warfare, okay, all you're doing is just getting an extra, extra boost from the Lord. It told you, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through who? Yahweh. See that? So if it's mighty through Yahweh, we it's got to be talking about the gospel. It's got to be talking about that sword. It's got to be talking about that gun, that blast, that fire. A.K.A. the Bible, you dig? Sanctioned, governed, co-signed by Yahweh. And once you do that, it's going to pull down them strongholds, man. It's going to pull down all your distractions, all that stuff. Stuff, your pride, unbelief, weaknesses, distractions. Hey, man, you're going to be straight. And then not only that, it's also in verse 5, I told you it's going to cast down them imaginations, man. Yeah, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, and you're going to be brought into captivity, every thought to to the obedience of Yahweh. Shai. So again, you're going to be brought under control. Your mind going to be captivated, man, to the obedience of Yahweh. Shai. See that? So when you're spiritually set up with the right weapons, man, the enemy, hey, he can't mess with you, man. So you got to understand for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, okay? What's carnal weapons? Swords, spears, guns, okay? Those are carnal. Also, manipulation, deception, trickery. Those are fleshly. Those are carnal. Our weapons are not that. Our weapons are spiritual of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, a.k.a. the gospel, the true gospel. That's the gun of our warfare, you see? And like I said, man, again, in verse 5, it says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. That's why in Romans 12 and 2, it tells you to renew your mind. See, when you're in spiritual warfare, you got to constantly renew your mind, man. 
Constantly, man. Constantly. So you sincere brothers and sisters out there, man, if you really taking this spiritual walk serious, you are going to always find yourself in spiritual warfare. And just remember, when you find yourself in spiritual warfare, understand that your weapons of warfare is not carnal. It's spiritual. It's the Bible. It's the truth of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's your weapon. And can't nobody see you or deal with you when you operating in those rams, you dig? That's all I got for you this evening, man. I hope you sincere uh, brothers and sisters was truly edified by this word. And we give all praises, glory and honor to our heavenly father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this word to come out. And hey, man, stay prayered up. Keep Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, first in everything you do. Love on somebody, man. Shame the devil every opportunity you get. And um, hey man, keep your head up, man. We almost up, we almost up out of this place. And while we're here, make the best of it, man. And and always get a Lord his due every single day that the Lord allow you to rise to your feet. Make sure you give him his due, man. Word.